This meeting of the Yes and City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilman Harris? Here. Williams? Here. Avery? Here. Eccles? Here. Stewart? Here. Cannon? Here. Reed? Here. We have a quorum present. The meeting is open for business, and I'm going to ask Councilman Williams to lead the invocation. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray, Father. We thank you for the opportunity to come together today, Father. We thank you for having the capacity and the ability, Father, to attend to the business of the city, Father. And we ask that you will guide us, that we will exercise wisdom and and stewardship as we deal with both the resources and the people associated with the city, Father. And with all that being said, Father, we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise for us in Jesus' name. We ask it all. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> I believe they roll. <laughs> we got somebody creating a disturbance out in the audience. <laughs> I, I thought you weren't going to give us a roll tide. Roll tide. That's somebody else to do that. Oh, there, there you go. Where you go. Okay. Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work session and council meeting on January the 3rd. So moved. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. Chair will entertain a motion to ratify payment of the accounts for the week of December the 30th through the January the 5th. So moved. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Well, proclamations, Mayor. <clears throat> Unfinished business, we have none today. Number nine, this is a time and place is advertised to conduct a public hearing allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of an ordinance adopting 2009 edition of the International Property Maintenance Code. This regulates the conditions and maintenance of all property, building, and structures to ensure safe, sanitary, and fit conditions for occupancy and use. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this ordinance? Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of it? The ordinance was presented today for the first reading and the council will vote on it next week. 10 is a resolution supporting revision of the Civil Service Act. This urges the, <laughs> urges the local legislative delegation to amend Act 671 to provide for hiring, discipline, and discharge of the police and fire chiefs by the mayor with the approval of a majority of the city council. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Mr. President, I, I just want to say I, 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 I think I've probably voted on three, maybe four of these, uh, and hopefully this is going to be the last one. Um, uh, our legislative delegation has got to come to their senses. Uh, sooner or later, you, you keep hoping and praying that they do. If we're the only city in the state of Alabama out of 440-some municipalities, to have such an act. And, and why they're trying to preserve this for the life of me, I can't <coughs> understand. Because if it was that good, then there would be more than just the city of Gaston who have this particular act. I do know that there are several other cities who were similar situated like we were, but then they had sense enough to change there. So hopefully the local delegation will see the need and the sense to, to change the city of Gaston and bring us into the 21st century. Mayor, would you like to comment? <clears throat> yes, sir, I would. I talked to the mayor of uh, in West Virginia yesterday. <clears throat> He's a retired policeman, and uh, we were talking about environmental uh, cleanup at our steel plant, and he has the same company that's going to do some work for him. And they used us as a reference. And we got to talk about the budget. There are about 40,000 people, a little bit bigger than us, but same kind of budget, same kind of population. And uh, 
I asked him what kind of setup they had. He said, we have a civil service board. And I said, well, is the, is the uh, fire chief and police chief under the mayor? And he said, no. He said, uh, really, I've never seen anybody that has that kind of setup. And, you know, the, we're the governing body. We know what goes on here in each legislator, and they're all friends of mine. They have different portions of the city, but only one has the full for, uh, portion, that's the senator. But uh, it's a $20 million budget almost from both departments and approximately 240-something uh, employees. And it's been very costly over the years when there's problems. And uh, I think everybody can see just from the short time that Captain Harbin's been in there, how much cooperation we have and, and how things are going. And we desperately need this to take effect. The legislature goes in session on the 7th. And I would also hope that uh, the Civil Service Board uh, would look at uh, what's going on now and maybe even uh, hold up on doing anything until the legislature goes in session and see if uh, they won't decide to pass this bill since we've asked them to several times. And nobody wants to get the men out from under the Civil Service Board. That would never be an issue with anybody, as far as I know, unless mm -hmm. they just got out of brass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say yes, I, I'd just like to say that we, we, we're encouraging the legislative delegation to meet with us um, if they have questions uh, or if they have a difference of opinion as far as we're concerned. Meet with us and let us iron out whatever those uh, problems or situations that you may be questioning as to why you would want to keep this type of uh, civil service board in play. Just meet with us and let us answer your questions and see where we're coming from and we'll exp explain to you of why we feel the way we feel and, and uh, you can tell us uh, what you want to do, ask us questions, but please, uh, th this is a plea to you all to meet with us and to see our side of it. Thank you. Is there any other? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Uh, Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Eleven is resolution approving E-Verify memorandum of understanding with the United States Department of Homeland Security. This authorizes the personnel director to act as the program administration for the E-Verify program for the city. To verify the employment of eligibility of employees after hire is required by law. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Um, no, it's okay. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? No. We have one no. Motion carries to adopt. 12 is a resolution authorizing an agreement between the city and the Alabama Department of Transportation. This is for preliminary engineering, right of way acquisition, utility, and construction for lighting on Airport Road at Our Gray Drive. The project is fully funded by federal funds, and the amount is $475,000. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. 13 is a resolution authorizing an agreement with Jones, Blair, Waldrop, and Tucker and Etowah County Commission. This is for professional services for phase one of the Stroud Avenue drainage improvement <coughs> project and the amount is $19,200. <coughs> the county is responsible for half the cost. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. First reading, ordinance amending fiscal year 2012 budget. This is to reflect receipt and appropriation of 475000 from ALDOT on the airport road lighting project approved earlier. What is the pleasure of the council? 
Mr. President, if there's no objection, I'd ask that we suspend the rules to vote on this. Second. Second. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the ordinance today, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Make a motion for approval. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? I mean, we got, they're going to give us the money, so we might as well get it while we can. Uh, Sometimes they say the check is in the mail, but I, uh, so let's get it right quick. See any other discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Uh, those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. New business? Is there any new business? I have one, Mr. President. Uh, coming from the legal department, 002.1. It's an ordinance amending fiscal year 2012 budget to reflect grant funds in the amount of $1,000 received from Walmart for the fire department's car safety seat program. That's for unanimous consent to consider. Second. 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 Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the ordinance today, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries to adopt. Do any other new yes, business? Mr. President, I have another one from Legal Department 001 requested by the Fire Department. It's a resolution authorizing application and acceptance of grant from Walmart for the child passenger seat program in the amount of that $1,000. Second. Unanimous consent. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Okay, move to adopt. Second. Second. Any discussion? Thank Walmart. Yes. Yes, Mr. <laughs> President, this is for uh, car seats for needy, the people who really need them. Any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Any other new business? Yes, Mr. President, I have a couple of items here. Um, legal Department number 010 says resolution authorizing agreement between the City of Gaston on behalf of the Etowah Gaston Metropolitan Planning Organization and SANE Associates for the Gaston Etowah Bicycle Pedestrian Plan. I'd uh, like to make a motion that we consider that today. Second. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Second. Any discussion? Yes, uh, Mr. President. This is, again, an agreement with Sane and Associates, uh, uh, between, between Sane and Associates and the Gazin Etowah MPO, uh, essentially uh, developing a pedestrian, bicycle and pedestrian plan. Uh, I think the total cost, cost is $100,000 $100, with there being a $20,000 match uh, that's going to be spread out amongst the MPO members. Uh -huh. See any other discussion? I understand all the other cities are on board with this now, so that's good. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think the key word there was now. <laughs> Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any other new business? Yes, Mr. President, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we consider today um, Ordinance uh, 009, amending City Code Section 118-129 to designate Cherry Street between 3rd and 4th Street as a no parking zone. Second. You take the vote. Those in favor to consider the ordinance today, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. I hope this will uh, get rid of the congestion in that block there. There's a lot of doctor's offices down there. And uh, it gets to the point where you can't get up and down the street for the cars parked on the street. So hopefully this will eliminate that. See any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the ordinance, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. 
Is there any other new business? Yes, sir, Mr. President. I have one final one. Uh, this is Resolution 005, appointing members to the Commercial Development Authority for terms expiring uh, December 31st, 2014. Uh, make a motion that we consider this today. Second. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today, there to be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Move to adopt. Second. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any other new vision? Yes, Mr. President, I have one here. Uh, this is a resolution authorizing certain preliminary matters, including issues of preliminary official statements uh, to issue uh, warrants. So I'd ask for unanimous consent to consider. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Consent has been granted. Okay, I'll put that in the form of a motion. Second. Any discussion? Uh, basically, what we're doing today is approving uh, the uh, preliminary statements uh, dealing with the refinancing of the series 203B warrants, the series 204A warrants, and the series 202A warrants. Uh, we've pretty much got everything in order now, and uh, what they're doing now is putting the paperwork together and for the uh, bondholders to make sure that when they do pull the trigger, everything will be A-OK. -okay. I think we're at that threshold uh, in the market that we set uh, as far as our savings is concerned, but we've got to do our paperwork now to make sure that uh, when they do pull it, everything will be in order. Any other discussion? Essentially what we're doing is refinancing some bonds at, uh, at a better rate and we want to save the city some money. Any other? I got, I got dibs on the first 200,000. I got project already scoped out for it. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, <coughs> let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Any other new business? Department reports, committees, boards, are there any? Rem Chief. Chief. I'm uh, Steve Carroll, the fire chief for the city of Gaston. Uh, council has asked me to come and, and give you a report concerning concerning the ISO rating of the city. And recently, we went under an ISO audit uh, back last uh, fall. And uh, through the support of the mayor and this council, and acquiring new fire station out the fire, uh, at the airport. Uh, and, and purchasing the equipment and other essential issues. I'm proud to say that we finally uh, lowered our classification to the lowest it's been in the city of Gaston in its history. Uh, we went from a class four to a class three, uh, which will uh, take effect in, in April, and how that affect the, the general populace is that it would lower from zero to two percent, depending on your insurance company and your loss, uh, policy that you have with your uh, insurance companies could lower your rates as much as zero to two percent. So I think that's something to be uh, admirable about. It's been since 1982 was the last time we were audited. So I think this is a, a good move in the right direction. And, and uh, I think that uh, the city needs to be applauded for that. So uh, the other thing is we, we recently went through a Toys from Santa program. The fire department sponsors a Toys from Santa program during the Christmas time. And Recently, we raised $15,000 in, in relation to that and was able to give $12,000 of that to Salvation Army to help sponsor those children that they had already taken applications for. And in addition to that, we also were able to help 50 additional children that had made applications through us that didn't make the original application processes with some of the other charitable organizations. So luckily, we were able to meet all of the uh, needs and requirements for all of the children that made application for us. So, so everybody should have had a good Christmas. Thank you. Thank Chief. you, Chief. Yes. While, while you're up, I want to publicly again thank you and the fire department for the job that was done on Tuscaloosa Avenue the other day. Uh, they were, there was a house fire, and they were able to contain that fire into one room. 
the, the other thing about that was that uh, the city had installed uh, smoke detectors uh, throughout the city, and, and this was one of the houses. That's and right. I think the uh, family said that's what alarmed them was the fact that that smoke detector went, up, went off. And, and so, again, we want to thank the fire department for uh, their uh, fine work in putting the fire, but at the same time seeing the foresight to go out and put smoke detectors in, in, in those homes. So we appreciate you guys. And, and that's a continuous program. If anyone needs a smoke detector, we'll certainly try and get them one installed in their facility. We'll actually go out and install it for them if they cannot do it themselves. Right. In this I, I, particular case, we had installed that. Yeah, I just would say she told me that the fire department did come out and install that one, so right. that was that was great. So we, we really appreciate that. Thank you again. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, I'd just like to uh, re reach out to the Gadsden Times and make sure that, um, I, as I understand it, the story was reported on today in today's paper, but uh, the, uh, the program, I'm not sure how much we addressed uh, the specifics of that program. It, it, in, it had a small segment in there about the program and through contact. Okay. Oh, great. Well, good. That's good. 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 So want to encourage people, if you didn't read that, to read it and become familiar with that program uh, to see how that may benefit you. Any other <coughs> department reports? March by the mayor of the council. You want to start, Ben? Sure. Uh, <coughs> Chief, I want to... Uh, say to you that after being in the insurance business all the years that I was and started off with a class five here in town and to see the progress that y'all have done in this number of years is unbelievable. Uh, let me say as a, as a landowner, a homeowner, I really appreciate it and I think the people of Gaston are going to see that coming down the pike too, but we do appreciate it. Salvation Army, I'm on that board and you won't ever know how much that board and the Salvation Army appreciates the work that y'all do, you and all your officers in the fire department. Um, Roy, I guess I just got to say it straight to you. I appreciate you. Uh, the morale in that department is unbelievable the way it's going now. Uh, I can't believe the difference, but I can see it every day. And I want you to know how much I appreciate you and how much I appreciate the officers. I don't really have to tell them. They already know it, but I ought to say it every once in a while. And I think the shooting in Alabama City the other night proved the restraint and the training that those officers have had and are getting in your cooperation. I appreciate it a whole lot. I really do. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. President. Roy, I do want to, Chief, uh, I do want to tell you that I do appreciate all the men you had out there Sunday morning between 2 and 3.30 and how professionally they all acted. Uh, they was getting shot at. I was laying in my bed that night and I could hear the gunshots going off. My radio, at my city radio went off and I heard what was going on. I heard every step the guys made, how they got him a perimeter around him. He was shooting at him. We didn't have to fire any shots. Uh, they was on top of everything that night. From the first gunshot he shot, they was from the first window he shot out at a business, he went to the next window. And the time he was at the next window, y'all was there. And y'all just had this guy in scope the whole time. And nobody got hurt. And everything I heard was just professional. It couldn't have been any better. The officer in charge, he handled the situation perfect. All the officers handled it perfect. I know we got a, a police car window shot out. We got one of our cars damaged by a bullet that he shot. but. Thank the good Lord, no one got hurt. And the Gaston Police Force, under your leadership and the men out there working that night, just acted so cool about it. You know, they never lost composure or anything. They were just as cool as they could be about it. My wife, she was awake when she heard it, and she couldn't, couldn't imagine people shooting at the police officers and them being so cool, you know, trying to protect the citizens out there. And I just really want to tell each and every one of them that I really do appreciate them and appreciate the job you're doing. That's all I got, Mr. President. Bill. I'll just say hey, amen to both of your remarks. Uh, I'm certainly uh, in agreement with you. Other than that, all I have to say is roll time. <laughs> I think it's called a spanking. It wasn't a roll. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. It was an old-fashioned yeah. spanking, yeah. what it was. 
Um, I, I too want to to give kudos to the police department. It, it's 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 a it's a big difference. You know, most of the time, people say I criticize or jump on them, uh, but at the same time, when they start doing something good, and I, I'm also uh, one one to say that they are doing a great job. And uh, under your leadership, Chief, they I can see the difference. Uh, I, I've come in contact with a number of them uh, since you've been there, and there, and there is a big difference. Uh, uh, I understand that the Civil Service Board is, is meeting tonight. Uh, I don't think there's anything on their agenda as far as hiring a new chief. Uh, I think they're still whittling it down. Uh, but uh, they're going to be hard-pressed, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to, to do a good job uh, because I understand that there's already a fix on it. Uh, people say you sh we're supposed to keep our mouth quiet about who and I'm not recommending anybody. Uh, is, is that what the law says, uh, Mr. Attorney, before I say something? <laughs> I can't recommend, right? But I can talk about somebody who you don't want. Is that, is, do the law allows that? I don't, I don't think they're going to do anything to you. Okay, good. Well, I don't want the one they want. If you have some legislative Okay. okay. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. I don't want the one that I heard they want. And, and, and so uh, hopefully that will uh, uh, give them an idea. But, uh, you know, it's going great. That's all. I, I'm, I'm through with that. Before yeah. I say something, I, I, I'm going to have to take back. Thank you, Mr. President. So uh, just a couple things. So the, the redistricting plan was, uh, was voted on last week, and I do want to thank the, the council for, um, so, for voting favorably relative to that plan. Um, I think again, that's uh, that's going to be a, a plan that will uh, give us a middle of the road option and a uh, politically neutral option to present to the Justice Department. And, you know, I I do understand that uh, you know it's it's an adjustment from my original plan, uh, but uh, that's part of the compromise activity uh, that I think it takes at times to get uh, to get things done. So that that's uh, sometimes the part I struggle with. That's politics, but. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, but again, I think we presented a plan uh, that, uh, that, that bore the, the, the signature of, uh, of, of a number of the council members, so I do appreciate that. Um, the, uh, you know, the, we've, we've had some discussions uh, upstairs, and, um, and, I, and I, I think it's been alluded to even here today relative to um, Airport Road and, um, and, and some of the, the, the ticket writing and the speeding activity there. Do, do want to remind the public that that's not a drag strip. Um, that is, uh, that is a, a technically a four-lane industrial highway. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but there's a start and finish line out there. <laughs> You're supposed to ignore that. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just want to let you know. Yeah. Okay. That it is a, a four-lane industrial highway, which essentially um, uh, establishes that uh, for the benefit of, 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 in, of, of industry. And, uh, and once uh, we start to see the true benefit of industry utilizing uh, the, the, the road, it will become more evident why speeding is such an issue, because you'll have uh, industrial vehicles and, and things of that nature who, who will be utilizing it, and it will be um, safety prohibitive, if I can say that, for you to speed. So again, be mindful of that and please adhere to the speed limit and understand and know that uh, that, that is a point of contention uh, for, our, for our police department. Uh, our traffic issues on 431, uh, for those in the community, and 431 and Megan and Hood Avenue, for those in the community who do not um, think that uh, as a council and as a city government we are looking at that and addressing it, uh, you, that could not be farther from the truth. Um, with, with no transportation bill, we're forced to be very creative. Uh, so you, you have the Republicans in Washington to thank for much of uh, the, the, um, the stagnation that exists relative to, those, to that funding. Um, but, uh, but again, we're, we're coming up with some creative opportunities and some creative options to, um, to address those needs. Uh, you know, a couple of quick, point, uh, quick, quick uh, uh, points to note is that we did a study back in 2006, and, uh, and that was just before the Coosa Town Center uh, development. And, uh, and it was determined that uh, that, that, uh, that area was, uh, was a service level grade four, a grade F, uh, which essentially means that uh, pedestrians are having to sit too long uh, on Megan Boulevard. Now, 
um, you know, again, you know, that's unacceptable. And, uh, and so we've been mindful of that since 2006, and it's only going to get worse. I think it's progressively gotten worse over the last few years. So uh, as a city, we understand it, we know it, and we're doing what we can to try to address it. So I, again, I brought that up because I want the public to be mindful of that. Uh, if you're out there on Friday afternoons, or any afternoon for all that matter, and if you were out there during the holidays, um, you know that we have issues. And, uh, and of course, we're, we're trying our best to address that. The mayor is very tuned in, very much tuned in to what's going on there. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you. Really? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, Councilman Williams, you're right. Uh, 431 is a nightmare. But, um, the, the, there has been, uh, I, th I think the engineering department uh, has told us that there has been just recently, uh, there is presently a, a study being done to, to direct the traffic or to change the traffic routing or the timing uh, all the way out 431 from from 12th Street on through um, to uh, Glencoe. So we're looking for some improvements in that, but that still doesn't alleviate the problem that we have, you know, even though we, we can put you from Alabama City all the way to East Gadsden without stopping on Meekin Boulevard, but at the same time, you know, I'm sitting there on 12th Street, uh, on Springfield Avenue or someplace else, and I've got to sit there for four minutes. So it, it is being studied, and I can assure you that the public sure would be glad when that situation is resolved. It, it is a nightmare. Um, on speeding, uh, and to the chief, uh, thank you for your support. In uh, the endeavors that the police department has put into speeding on Payton Rich and Payton Road, I promise you that we will attack this uh, speeding in those neighborhoods, in our neighborhoods, viciously. Uh, and I, I say that uh, because uh, the speed limit is the speed limit. Now, you know, if, if you're out on Airport uh, uh, Boulevard, or Airport Road, and the speed limit is 45 miles now, it's 45 miles now. It's not 55, it's not 60. So if you go out there and run 55, 60, 65 miles now on Airport Boulevard, when you come down Payton Ridge, you know, and the speed limit is 35, and I would like to see it 25, you're going to run 45 or 50 down through there, and you're in the neighborhood. Same one that speed in one area will speed in another. Those that keep the speed limits will keep the speed limits everywhere. So I caution you. We will, I will, and we will continue to be persistent upon speeders in our neighborhoods and our communities. The uh, Martin Luther King celebration will be next Monday at uh, Convention Hall at 6 o'clock. And the keynote speaker there will be the associate director of the AEA who has just come into office replacing Joe Reed. Uh, I encourage everybody to attend uh, that function. It's a free function. Go out and, 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 and help celebrate uh, the birthday of this uh, outstanding man. And since that is uh, the date that I would normally have scheduled my district meeting, uh, <coughs> we're not going to meet next Monday, but we will meet on the 23rd. Uh, district 1 meeting will be on the 23rd at East Gadsden Recreation Center. Um, I encourage you to come out because I think that may be a topic of interest that we might want to discuss and everybody wants to be involved in it. Uh, with that being said, thank you all. Mr. President, you know, one, one final thing. I, I would be very much remiss if I didn't recognize my father who's in the audience today. So. <laughs> I appreciate, always appreciate your support. Yeah, he, I think we've seen him before. Yeah, but he, <laughs> but he gave him that dirty look. You didn't see that. That's why he went back. <laughs> yeah, but, um, I was looking back there at your father just a few minutes ago. He looks a lot younger than you. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Thank you. And John is the I one. Appreciate and John is the one that told us to keep our mock remarks short, short today, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> And due to the Martin Luther King holiday next Monday, garbage will be collected on Tuesday. And Tuesday's route will be collected on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday's routes will be picked up on schedule. I'll entertain a motion. We adjourn. So move. So move.